I first connected with Alyssa Trangreen when she came to work for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And we had a position here for a healthcare service coordinator, and that is a very hard position to fill because it requires a lot of different skills that typically aren't found all in one person. And I started getting rave reviews from our hospitals and our care providers, and I thought I needed to check out why all the fuss about this person. And, and it was quick, quickly apparent that she really did have a remarkable set of attributes. She often was there when families got tragic news. And the families all commented on how warm she was and genuine she was. And for a person to have those warm human attributes, but also be able to be credible in the professional world with um, medical professionals, and um, that's a tough package to find. And, and she embodies all of that. I think her sense of philanthropy, her sense of justice and equity bleed through to everything she does. I think it's, I think it's a, a constant mission of hers. I think, it, I think it's a constant heartbreak of hers. She's at a very busy point in her life with things she, with her husband and her child and all the things that she's interested in. But she finds time to start a nonprofit for people who maybe didn't have the same advantages. She started Dress for Success Oklahoma in Oklahoma City, um, found a new affiliate here that didn't exist before because she saw a need. Dress for Success is, a, is where people um, turn in apparel, clothing, shoes, and such that are interview appropriate so that um, people without a lot of resources can put their best foot forward and be professional and credible um, as they try to find employment. I've visited her storefront, I've seen how she treats her employees, but more importantly I see how she treats her clientele. Supportive, we're going to do this thing together. One thing that makes me sort of happy about knowing Trang, Trang is a Vietnamese immigrant, from an immigrant family. And one has to think that when they started that scary and treacherous journey, that they had dreams for their children and who they might be and the opportunities they might have in this country. And they couldn't possibly have imagined that she would be the young woman with the accomplishments that she's had and the opportunity that she's had in, a, in, in one generation. And I think that has to be incredibly gratifying for her family, but also encouraging to those that will come behind. I feel that, that trying people like her just inherently make Oklahoma a better place.